What's something your employer did that instantly killed employee morale? I work in a big corporate building. The same older lady came by everyone's desk towards the end of the day to collect the trash. Just the sweetest lady ever and every time she'd walk to my desk she'd give me a big smile and ask me how my day was and chat for a minute as she got my trash. Usually I'd dump it in for her. I had some rough days but she has a way to cheer me up and send me home on a high note. I know I'm not the only one either. So then a few weeks back our work implemented a new policy to cut down on trash usage. It's no longer allowed to have a trash bin at our desk and we have to walk across the room and use the community trash to throw anything away. Not a huge deal but the real reason they did it is so they can cut down on cost, i.e. the cleaning crew. Sad to say that I haven't seen Sharon since. Where I work replace the Eastern European cleaning crew. My shit was mostly Ukrainian and Russian, with a crew that'll do it for less. Now things are filthy, things are broken constantly, and they've hired mentally handicapped folks and felons to clean. Since then cars have been broken into, maintenance is at an all time low, and the pleasant interactions with the former crew have been replaced by side. I watching these schmucks to be sure they are not the one actively breaking into employee vehicles. Electrical contractor of 35. 27 of which are out in the field, we earn PTO hours based upon the number of hours worked in a given week. Full time employees earn what is equal to about 6 extra paid days off in a year, which is typically used for errands, sick days, taking care of children and so on. One of the field employees is a known, to all other field techs, alcoholic. Word makes it to office personnel that this individual was using his PTO because he had tipped too many back the night before and couldn't make it to work on time. Owner denied his PTO claim and he drove into the office to have a shouting match with the owner. Very next day a company wide email is sent stating that PTO will be indefinitely suspended because it is being abused. Not even sure if what they did is legal. But instead of dealing with this one employee, they decided to use it as a way to save paying out around 180 earned days off throughout the entire company. This happened about a week ago. Morale dropped instantly. Most field techs started showing up late playing around on their phones and leaving early. Couple guys have already jumped ship and sounds like a large number of others are about to follow. I'm going to wait it out a couple months as I'm owed a yeti cooler and vacation time on my anniversary. This school wanted to switch to Chromebooks. So what did they do? One summer while teachers weren't working, they removed every single Windows station and replaced them with Chromebooks to be issued to teachers. They were told to figure it out. When teachers came up and asked how they could teach Photoshop, programming, AutoCAD 3D modeling, etc. Admin basically googled their program name plus Chromebook extension and told them see, there's an extension for it and it works I don't think I have to add that it did not work. They ended up bringing back the desktops for most teachers. I was one of a large number of programmers working on a project at CSC. We had a deadline coming up in a couple months and they over promised to the client and then asked us all to work extra hard to meet the deadline, and asked us to work 50 plus hour weeks. Which we did, and then some. Some of us put in 70 80 hour weeks to meet this deadline. But once that deadline was met, suddenly there was another deadline they needed to meet, and another. People got tired, had lives to lead, and scaled back on their hours. Most of us were still working 50 60 hours a week, but not a lot more than that. Once they realized we weren't killing ourselves on their project any longer. There was an all hands meeting where the managers told us that they were incredibly disappointed in our lack of professionalism because so comparatively few employees were now working more than 50 hours a week. One of our harder workers stood up and said, look, I have three kids, I'm driving an hour into and out of work every day, I'm taking care of my family, I'm trying to get presents for Christmas, write out Christmas cards, decorate and clean the house for everyone we're having over for the holidays, I'm having a really hard time just getting to 50, and the manager looked at her and sneered, if it wasn't Christmas, it'd be because it's Easter, or Memorial Day, or because it's summer and it's nice out, you'd always have some excuse, there was dead silence in the room, when we left that meeting, we didn't talk to each other, but every single worker on that project put in exactly 50 hours a week after that, then came Christmas, raise and bonus time, every worker on the project got a 12% raise, 
The managers got a 5 figure bonus. We were pissed. For management. The pain came after Christmas. First week of the year. 4 programmers had better jobs lined up and quit. 3 more the following week. 5 the next. We homaged 3 5 programmers every single week for over 3 months. It got to the point where the managers had to schedule a meeting every Monday at 11 to discuss that week's resignations and rearrange the surviving staff. FCSC. Hello fellow tortured soul from CSC. I was one of the unfortunate dummies who worked at the benefits call center. I was there for 3 years out of pure necessity after being laid off from my job as a junior size admin. During those 3 years was essentially trained to work all the call queues with no extra pay. We were told every year that there was a pay freeze so no pay adjustment if any kind would be made. At the same time. The main floor manager who was an incompetent buffoon who literally knew nothing and was such a moron that he could not even hop on the phone to help during spikes in call volume received a 6 figure retention performance bonus. Every. Freaking. Year. After the company split I ended up in the CSRA side doing everything I was doing before plus accounts payable work. No increase. Nice. I lost track of how many times I contemplated taking off my seatbelt and plowing into the back of a 16 wheeler at 80 plus mph on my way to work. After asking for a raise and essentially being told to be happy I have a job and shut up. I started teaching myself front end web technologies and took a front end boot camp course. I was essentially working 100 plus HR weeks between work, school, and trenching myself until I found interesting in the web space. I was able to leave a few months later and I have never been happier. The real kicker. When I started my new job I started as an intern. I was making more money working 15th as hard and with 90% less responsibilities. As a riffing front end intern. So to conclude as you so eloquently put it. FCSC. Former teacher. The administrators at my school were usually pretty chill. But had a habit of randomly coming up with minor rules that they would enforce for us. Male teachers had to wear ties even on jeans day, etc. Overall it wasn't bad, except for the time an administrator made a crucial mistake. They banned staff from drinking coffee in front of students. Now if you've never worked in a school, you'd think this isn't a big deal. When you spend nearly 100% of your day in front of students, it definitely is a big deal. First we tried to find any loophole we could. Energy drinks. Banned the next week. Tea. Banned two days later. It was chaos. Eventually, we realized they couldn't fire an entire school's worth of teachers and aides. So we ended up doing the one thing that private schools fear most. We formed a union. Realistically, it was more of a weird pseudo-union focused specifically on civil disobedience regarding the coffee issue, but it ruffled feathers nonetheless. The administrators caved to our demands, allowed us to drink coffee again, and even bought each of us a reusable coffee mug as a gesture of goodwill. And that's the story of how a handful of school administrators almost accidentally created a teacher's union over a complete non-issue. I used to work at an English immersion middle school in Korea. The admin was all Korean, including my boss, the vice principal. Word started going around that the school was under investigation for certain admin taking bribes to admit students. The VP got visibly anxious for a few weeks. Then one Sunday night we got a text message from one of the Korean teachers at the school. The vice principal has passed away. It turns out he had hung himself in the school lobby that afternoon. The teaching staff still had to be at school the next morning even though classes were cancelled for several days. I remember walking into the school and seeing a custodian mopping the spot where the VP had been hanging. Moral tanked pretty hard for a while. She actively tried to ban friendships. If co-workers became friendly she would schedule them so they would never see each other. You're here to work, not to socialize. She also banned everyone from coming into the workplace when they were not working. It was a pub. She banned socializing in a pub. Edit. So there's a lot of replies. A few of you have suggested that we only went there to drink for free. But this was a corporate pub. So drinking for free was never allowed. She was literally turning away paying customers. A co-worker once asked her if he could bring in his visiting grandpa to show him where he worked and she told him to fuck off. She became insanely paranoid when she learned four people were in a WhatsApp group. She said the only reason people who work together set up group chats is because they wanted to talk trash about her. She was actually kind of right. 
had a boss everyone loved, then she got transferred to another store and the new guy that replaced her decided the schedule that we'd all gotten used to needed to be shaken up. He posted the next week's schedule that was completely different than it had been under the previous manager. Got a bunch of complaints from people saying they can't work x days or y times and it seemed he was receptive since he took that schedule down. Then suddenly bam. He just reposted the same exact schedule and said f everyone. Oh, we had some people calling in sick from time to time under the old manager, but this new manager has pretty much half his crew every single day calling out because of his booty tactics. Here's the first thing to learn about being a good manager. You don't need to shake things up for people to be better workers. You don't need to put your mark on anything if it's working just find the way it was. I can do you worse. Company consisted of something like 1200 employees at the time, and rented out a big conference center for a Christmas party. At the opening of the party, the CFO was giving opening remarks, and asked, expecting cheers, if everyone liked their Christmas bonuses. He got booed. See, of that 1200 people, a bit over a thousand were in customer service. No one in customer service got bonuses, only people in the corporate departments got bonuses. And our awesome CFO decided to rub everyone's noses in it, because clearly the chief financial officer of a company would have no idea that 80% plus of his company didn't get bonuses. At the same party, the CEO made an announcement that the company would be closed on Friday Christmas that year was on a Thursday, and everyone got a day off. Now, he had literally just finished making a speech about how everyone was important, and everyone was part of the company, no matter the department. He had shoveled shit hard, trying to make CS happier. The next day, we all got a memo that customer service still had to work on that Friday. We apparently didn't count as everyone, and the CEO just hadn't realized that the announcement wouldn't apply to anyone. January saw a 60% attrition rate. I hope you enjoyed the video, I'm only 16 so I hope you didn't cringe from the editing, I hope we can get to 50,000 subscribers because I wouldn't be here without all of you, so thank you so much for your time and energy, and please subscribe.